Everyone wants to know how to get on the first page of Google, and one way to do it is by taking advantage of the Google My Business listings. This is Ryan from webeminent.com, and I'm going to help out one of my clients by adding his business to Google, and I'll let you watch the process. First, let me show you why it's important to have a Google My Business listing. My client has a plant nursery in Sumterville, Florida, and if I was to search Sumterville, Florida plant nursery, you'll see the results that come up with a map on the right hand side and there's also a few local listings here and these are listings that have been entered by the business owner or Google just has found them uh, through other methods but the name of my clients business is Shady Oaks Gather All and you can see it's not showing here one way for him to get more visibility in the first page of Google would be to get a my business listing so that his listing can show in these local map listings here and actually, even if someone were to search for his exact business name, Shady Oaks Gatherall, you'll see some directory listings show up, but he doesn't have a website yet, so that doesn't show up. But also, since he doesn't have a My Business listing with Google, there's no map showing up and there's no business listing. So getting a My Business listing will make sure that he shows and get him more visibility when people search general searches or specifically for his business name. Google has called these listings different things at different times. They used to be Google Places and then it was Google Plus Pages. Uh, right now it's called Google My Business. So if you go to google.com slash business, you'll probably find it regardless of when you're searching in the future. But when I go there now, it says get your business on Google for free and I can simply click get on Google. So the first thing they're asking me to do is enter the address to find my business just in case there is already a listing for the business. When I search for the address, Google's actually having trouble even finding the address. It is a um, small country road in Florida, so that's even more reason to make sure that we have a listing for this business. And since they can't find it, they obviously don't have a business listing for it. So I'm going to click the link that says, let me enter the full business details. And if you're searching and Google does find your address, like maybe you're in a commercial building with a lot of different businesses, they probably have your address already and you're going to click on a different link to enter your business information in that address that is already in Google's database. So I've entered all the business information in this box here including the business name, address, phone number and then they ask you to put in a category for the business and they did actually pin the um, exact location on a map. And Since I clicked the box that said I deliver goods and services to customers it's asking me to say within what mile radius I deliver goods and services and that's probably so that they can better uh, target searches when people search for what my business offers so I'm gonna go ahead and put 20 miles within 20 miles of my business address and click continue and at this point they're gonna ask you if you're authorized to manage this business you can check in the upper right hand corner to see which account you're logged into in Google and once you're positive that that's the correct uh, account to authorize you can check the box and click continue at this point Google's gonna take some steps to verify your business one of the ways they do that is by mailing a postcard to the address you entered with a verification code on it that you'll enter later if you entered a phone number you can also verify by phone the only option they're giving me here is to mail the code. I think if I click continue and verify later, I can probably find the phone option, so I may pursue that. But I'm going to pause this video right now and actually wait one or two weeks for my uh, client to get the postcard in the mail, and then I'll continue with the verification. Okay, I'm back, and instead of it taking two weeks, it actually took about three months to verify uh, this client's listing and the reason is that we didn't get the uh, postcard in the mail from Google I actually tried to request it twice and both times uh, my client just never got it in the mail so I'm not sure if it wasn't sent or if it got lost in the mail um, it might be because Google didn't even have the address listed on their map I'm not sure so what I had to do is call Google on the phone and talk to a specialist so that we could verify over the phone they had to talk to the business owner to give me permission to do it on their behalf over the phone and we did get that finished so they did it manually and now you can see 
right by the business name, it says verified. So if you get the postcard in the mail, it'll look something like this and it'll have a, uh, a pin on it. And then when you log back into your My Business account, there's gonna be like a red bar at the top and you click confirm or enter code and you could put in your pin number there and you'll be able to verify that way. Uh, some businesses are gonna be able to do their verification over the phone as well. I'm not sure how they choose which businesses they do that for. So now that this business is listed in Google My Business, I wanna show you some of the results of having that listing. First of all, if I search Shady Oaks Gather All, you see the new website shows up in the first spot. One of the benefits of having the Google My Business listing is you have a few extra things listed under the organic search listing. Here you see the Google Plus page, a link to review the business, and then the address and phone number. And then on the right hand side, you'll see a clickable map and the business information again here with reviews uh, when they're available. And if I go search Sumterville Florida Plant Nursery, which I did earlier in the video, you'll see some positive results there as well. If I scroll down, you'll see their new site listed and looks like the uh, fourth spot. And then the map listings usually show four listings. Right now they're only showing two. This new listing is only a few days old and I haven't completed it yet. So after I complete it, it'll have a better chance of showing in these top two listings. But right now, if you click the map results, it'll take you to the map listings. And actually underneath this ad, the Shady Oaks Gather All is the second one listed and you see it has a place marker on the map. I should note that getting a Google My Business listing will only show your website and listing in this area where the map listings are shown. But many people believe, and I do too, that uh, by getting a My Business listing, it's gonna get you more visibility and probably will help you rank in these other uh, organic listings, like the ones that are shown above and below these local listings. So one of the obvious questions is, how do you get listed higher in the Google Business listings? And that is a big question probably for another video, but one thing you can definitely do is go back to your new listing and make sure that you complete it. Right now, this new profile I completed is only listed as 60% complete. So I can add a profile picture and add extra photos. Uh, I can add hours of operation. I already added the website. And all these things are gonna help your listing to rank higher in these map results that show up in a Google search. So if you're a local business and you wanna be found on a map and get m more exposure in your local area, definitely take the time to create a My Business listing. It really doesn't take that long and hopefully you'll get a postcard in the mail or you can verify by phone and you won't have to wait two or three months like I did. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch some of the other videos. I definitely have more videos that are gonna help you to uh, get more exposure on Google's first page. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.